I am starting to realize a pattern of behavior where I can no longer believe anything that the show tells me because as soon as I believe, such as, oh, a magic cabal is after Index. Psych, it's actually church friends. Oh, Index's head is about to, you know, blow up because too much memory. Psych, that was also a lie. Bruh, what, what am I doing? I'm trying to theorize, but they just keep saying, I got you, you idiot. You believe what I told you in this show? Come on, man. Come on, man. What's going on? Index has this, like, sort of spell or a curse. Something to prevent her from, like, um... Basically, it's like an annual thing. The head hurts, right? There's like the suffering that happens. And Kanzaki and Stata has been lied to by the church. But it's all a lie. Literally a lie. We figure out in Index's mouth, there's, like, barriers from, like, level to 1 to 4 or some shit. Toma tried to do some weird shit, right? 1 to 3 was breached, but 4 wasn't. Now Index is in this like autopilot mode. I'm not sure if it's exactly Johan's pen. Her eyes are fundamentally different too. It gets like activated. There's like a circle, dark circle, and like a triangle in it. And now it's us versus Index. Let's begin today's reaction. God fucking damn it, I forgot. Whenever we do Index reactions, we gotta just watch the recap, then the opening, then do the intro. Because now I'm just gonna sit here doing fucking nothing. Yeah. Why even do the fucking intro recap when you're gonna do the recap for me? The most effective against Toma. What does that even mean? St. George. Imagine Breaker. Imagine Breaker is a title? Last episode was Limit 12 because that's like the midnight when Index's memory, quote unquote, memory problem happens. Imagine Break. We're gonna be breaking imaginations? Toma is about to break some bullshit? Go back? This felt important. I don't know. There must be a reason. Can't use experts or magic. What? I don't know. They literally said, if you are an esper, then you can't use magic. And people who are not espers resort to magic. But Index is special. Index is very special. She has the catalogs of the Grimars. And she is supposedly not supposed to be used magic, but she's using magic. Like, we even use Sensei during the healing situation, right? Because Index herself could not use magic. Was, was that right? More lies. Don't believe anything in this show. Just, just more fucking lies. There's no logic to theorycraft. It just lies on lies on lies. Mm -hmm. Lies. Yep. Gaslight by the church. Sorry. Technical difficulty? Here we go. That's right. We can be friends with Index again. Have the best interest? Ouch, bro. Bottom rungers. Damn, you didn't have to do state in Kanzaki like that. Just try to call it, you are literal fucking cashiers in this corporation known as the church, bro. You did, you're, you're literally fucking low-level employees. Y'all being manipulated. Another spell. Here comes another one. St. Paul instead. Is there a limitation? I don't know. Because, like, what's happening? She's using magic, I think, right? And he's canceling out. But even his right hand has, like, an upper threshold. Like, if it's too much to cancel at the same time, our hand could be destroyed first. Mage number. Mage name. Runes. More runes. See, Stata does care. 
前とりあえずだふざけやがってそんなつまんねえことはどうでもいい Do you like index? てめえはインデックスを助けたくないのかよてめえらずっとまっインデックスの敵に回らなくても済む最高なハッピーエンドってやつを Happy end, but the soundtrack is so hype. But it's crazy how he's still yapping right now while we're just getting blasted by beam attack. And just, he's like, Come on, man. Don't you love index? You can fucking do this with me. You know, there's this. Don't con content yourself being a part of the supporting cast. Come on, step up. But there's this specific lines about not being able to save that one girl here again. You swore that you would personally save this one girl, right? Is obviously what he's telling Stata to do. But does this not literally go with like Toma's backstory about a girl he could not save? And there is that video that I kind of want to check out. I'm not sure if it's a smart idea. It might spoil. But to understand more of Toma's mindset. What's going on? Why he's so obsessed? Why he keeps continuously saying like I couldn't even save one girl? There must be a reason. There's a deep reason. I'm not sure if I should watch the video though. Help him! Dude, that hand is gonna get busted. Like, what is this? I thought the hand could cancel out anything. But is Index literally just overpowering? Just like brute forcing this shit? It seems like it, right? Index's magic, while it's being canceled out, it's brute forcing to the point Toma can't even hold his hand up. Mage name. When they reveal their mage names, they're serious. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. Triple zero. Oh. That's not good. Feathers. Dragon breath? It's equivalent to the legendary dragon strike of St. George. What is this? Dragon breath. Are we talking about the beam attack that we just saw and not the feathers? If it touches you, you're fucked. Here's the fire spirit again. Stop it! Highest difficulty rating. <laughs> Damn, they recognize him, bro. The autopilot mode recognizes him as the biggest threat. Ino Kanti is holding up. Let's go. Okay. What did she say there about the runes? Something about the church? Reverse calculated. Understand how to counter. Distortion of the church motive exhibited by runes has been made evident. Basically, Index is saying like if you use runes, it's bad for, against the church, or it's more like you're using the church, you're using those like rune and incantias against me, so this is bad, you're an enemy. There's a stage two for George? We're still running. Come on, put your finger in her mouth. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Stop. Impossible. Oh, good. Okay, stop. What the fuck was Dragon Breath? What is dragon breath? Because the beam attack is St. George bullshit. As soon as the dragon, as soon as the beam attacked the satellite, then stuff started falling. These feathers. And at that point, they mentioned that's dragon breath. And then if it touches you, you'll die. It's kind of ambiguous what the fuck they're even talking about.
when you hear Dragon Breath, you're thinking Beam Attack. But the Beam Attack was St. George bullshit. Stage 1, Stage 2. Can I, I want to go back to that scene again. I, I, this, this scene is very weird. This, this scene is very weird. Uh, not this scene, not this scene. Let's go to when the satellite gets pushed up, right? No, no, no. It's a bit behind that. It's a bit, it's a bit behind that. I, I want to see the specific... Where is the satellite? Satellite, satellite, satellite. Yeah, this part. Let's let's watch this part again. Triple zero, baby. And then we tilt her. Boom. <laughs> I don't, that, that's probably got to be very important, right? That that, 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 that that satellite getting destroyed must be very important, right? I'm not sure what that's supposed to represent or what its function is, but I don't have a good feeling about that. And, like, what is the fucking likelihood of this, like, dude, of all things to destroy in orbit, like, we hit the satellite? Like, that's crazy that, like, it's, it's, it's so unlucky. Toma is unlucky, though. Toma is super unlucky, right? I don't know, but the satellite is god. And then the feathers drop down for whatever reason. <laughs> And what are these, he says, as the feathers drop down. One could only assume that the topic of Dragon Breath is this right now. Okay. Where did the feathers come from? Just out of nowhere. This isn't satellite debris falling down as feathers. But maybe it's just a byproduct of the beams, right? Maybe it's just a byproduct of the beams because until, you know, Index fucking shot up and this disc got destroyed, the feathers would never show up. So, Dragon Breath, it seems like, is the feathers. That's what they're talking about. Index is, like, Toma is looking straight at the feathers. And Kanzaki is like, that's Dragon Breath. If that touches you, you'll fucking die. And now we're at this point where the feathers are falling on us. Shouldn't we be fucking worried? I'm confused. an angelic music playing. I guess she's good. Maybe, 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 uh, he didn't have to, like, do that thing in the throat. That was some weird animation when he was, like, but he did this, right? I think the fourth barrier layer, it's gone. So this scene is even more significant, not because of us saving Index, but look at Kanzaki and Stata. They're like, bro, you're gonna fucking die. Dude, get out. But Toma is in like this heavenly state where nothing is touching him. It's like this tranquil moment as if he's the chosen one. Like anybody should be terrified. Anybody should be just so scared. But Toma is just so happy that he saved Index. He doesn't care. What a dragon breath. <laughs> Never mind. I thought he's gonna get away with it. I thought it was just gonna all settle and it's supposed to be like, wow, Toma is godlike. He didn't even care about the feathers landing and it's a happy ending. No, this shit hit. It hit. Uh-oh. So, what now? What now? Are we gonna die? Bald. Bald. Stated in Kanzaki? What the fuck? What? Is Stated gonna be like super affectionate to Toma now because Toma saved Index? What the fuck is his heart letter? Huh? <laughs> yeah. What is it? State is very happy. You got a lot of yapping to do. <laughs> 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 
Okay, an index is gonna read this instead. They lied. Alright. I think that they're gonna go around and try to figure out more of the truth of the church. They'll probably get in trouble if they try to seek too much of the questions, but I don't think that this means like Stata and Kanzaki is gonna be your enemies and they're gonna come back and assassinate us. They're gonna take their time to do some soul searching to figure out Exactly what have we been fed? What have we been doing this entire time being lied by the English Puritan church? And then maybe there's some potential for us to be like teammates in the future and work together with Index. What's that? Means? Oh, is that magic? Basically, if you read the end of the letter, it blows up. That's what that is. Okay. Wah wah, Toma ain't reading that shit. Liquid explosive. How did Toma survive? She's so cute. Her hands sweaty. Yep, get ready, locked in. Let's go, Index. Okay, he's alive? He's good? Yo, are you the same person or did you change? Toma. Who are you? Oh no, we lost the memory. Oh no. Oh. The table's turned. It's not Index that's gonna forget us. It's Toma that's gonna forget us. There's gotta be a way to get the memories back, right? There's gotta be a way! Memory obliteration. They're gone. Does that mean he's just stupid now? His brain cells have been physically destroyed. Like, that's... Not good at all. Oh, oh. <laughs> Boom. You look like you've been through a lot. This is so sad. Oh, Index. What you gonna do? Actually, why am I getting this upset? Bro, I bet one week hasn't even passed since we've met fucking Index. Bro, who cares? If we spent like 15 years together then we lost the memories, this would be so tragic. We barely know this girl. Straight up. If we're six episodes deep, what the fuck am I crying for? It's fine. We have so many more episodes. We can make new memories. Things will be okay. That's a fucking joke. Good question. Poor index. What's a sorcerer? Oh! She loved him? That's crazy, bro. She loved him? Damn. Index is not even a human name. Do you have a dog or a cat in this moment? Toma really did go retarded, bro. Toma really lost so much fucking brain cells. He just straight up insulting Index now. I quit this show. No. Bro. You're just lying. I take everything you give me so seriously because I'm trying to fucking understand the show. And you fucking lie to me. <laughs> Every time. 
Well, it, it's, it's okay. Okay, so nothing happened. But what about the memory destruction? What about the memory destruction? The, the doctor said, Hakai, memory obliteration. What do you fucking mean? How, what about that shit? Why is he okay, bro? Amstra. <laughs> Hikagata. You want to? I mean, she already confessed to you. Yeah, me too. The doctor, did the doctor lie? Toma told the doctor to lie? Frog face doctor? Yeah. They should have, but... Yeah, and his near presence will present, prevent magic from kind of happening, right? That's what happened with the healing of when Sensei was, you know, calling down the angel. There it is. Imagine Breaker. Title drop. So he has a name for this shit? So this is called Imagine Breaker. It's not the right-handed devil that I've been conning it for the last couple episodes. This is an actual name. Imagine Breaker. When did he make this shit up? Sounds fucking chuny. He really canceled the magic, man. Oh, the doctor called it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The doctor's chuny. The frog face doctor is the chuny one, and bro literally canceled memory loss because it was induced by magic. So moving forward, any lethal damage, anything that originates from magic. We should literally be able to cancel it just by touching it, right? That's what the implication here is. But like, how does that work? Your brain cells got destroyed by magic, but somehow by using Imagine Breaker, your brain cells are now back. If you ever have an injury due to magic, could you not do the same thing? Conceptually, it's the same shit. Remember? Right? Because what's the difference between a brain cell getting damaged because of magic and you getting your arm fucking chopped off because of magic? They're both destroyed. They're gone. But if you could... I don't... How... This is weird. We need to more... We need to see more examples of how this shit works. Before it reached my brain. Hold up. One more time. Magical damage before... If I cancel the magical damage before it reached my brain, sounds like his brain cells actually were not destroyed. It was in the process of happening. And if we use this example now, then if he's already injured, you cannot prevent that, right? There was a process of his brain cells about to be destroyed, but he prevented it using Imagine Break. Therefore, this situation works, but if he again was injured by magic, and that damage has already been made, you're cooked, I think. We'll see as the show goes on. We need more examples. She mad. Ow, she bit us again. She really loves biting us, man. Multiple times. Index so cute. Does he really look like a frog? She beat the fucking pillow. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe? Right? Yeah. I, I think he does look like a frog. The more I just picked a random fucking frog. Yeah, it's the same face. It's the same fucking face, bro. <laughs> yeah, he is frog doctor, man. Get up. Doesn't Misaka love frogs too? Misaka has like a frog keychain, right? The back to back. The back to back. I got fucked again. He did lose the memories. And he's just repeating everything that they mentioned. 
Fuck this author, bro. Why am I even taking this show seriously at this point? Fuck this author, bro. <sighs> well, that's nice though. He did that for Index. And basically, all the talk we just had about Imagine Break, all those conceptual things, the logic being applied, none of that shit mattered. None of that matters, because that never happened. He did lose his fucking brain cells. It doesn't matter. God fucking damn it. In my heart, doctor. Fuck your science. I don't care about science. My heart remembers the Kokoro, bro, the human spirit. Hmm? <laughs> you fucking idiot. You actually said the most cliche thing! Dude, Sensei told us there's three types of fucking memories stored in the fucking brain. There's no heart! <laughs> Alright, okay. It's in the heart, baby. Oh, God. This is probably one of the most reused sound bits in all of anime. The Summer Cicada, bro. Satellite Orihime has been lost. That's what we fucked up. Oh, we got some uh, new news. Today's topics, two weeks have passed since the losing. So two week time skip. Orihime 1. Do we have Orihime 2? Misaka. I guess it was that important, huh? Holy shit. Like, how important was Orihime 1? State. There's a girl floating upside down. No, it's a girl. No, it's a girl in a dress upside down. <laughs> Director General Alistair. Is he a machine? So this is supposed to be like church people? But that's weird how everything is so technological and sciencey here. What was his title? At least or something? That a machine is able to, Alistair. Director General of what? Is this hinting that Stere is actually not loyal to the church? Is Director General Alistair like a different, like, not church faction? And Stere is like a double agent? What is happening on Deep Blood? Deep Blood. Okay. There's a creature that we don't even know it exists, but we have a girl that could kill it. Okay? Okay. Is it accelerator? Is it accelerator? Scientific side. Why the f- What's going on with Stade, bro? Scientific side? What? Wait, 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 bro. What, what the fuck? Those of us cannot take down another sorcerer. Okay. What would happen if a sorcerer is brought down in a town with so many espers? The balance would basically go off because they realize the sorcerers are weak? What, what's the implication here? It's, it hinges on the balance. Basically, use a sorcerer to kill a sorcerer and keep that shit hidden. Don't make it be public knowledge. If an esper killed a sorcerer, it would look bad. The balance would be broken. Natural enemies. Alistair has a magic breaker? I am in possession. I am. 
I only know Toma with Imagine Breaker. Unless there's another Imagine Breaker. We're gonna use Toma as a tool. It is Toma. So now we're gonna... So before, we wanted to use a Sorcerer to kill a Sorcerer. But no, we wanted to use Toma to kill him. Okay. To but Toma is Alistair's? Possession? What do you fucking mean? I've never heard of you, never seen you, but you somehow control Toma? That's fucked up, bro. That's a fucked up, bro. <laughs> he has neither the brains to understand your skill. No, he did! Toma was big brain and he figured out Incantesius rune bullshit. But he did lose a lot of brain cells now. I'm not sure. But this is kind of funny though. Deep Brodo. Still don't know what really it is about. If Deep Blood exists, then that potential creature that may or may not exist would also exist. It would prove that there is a creature that should be killed. And there's a girl that he has that can kill deep, uh, this creature that may or may not exist that can only be proven with Deep Blood. Why is this so fucking confusing? And then, who is the girl? It's Sensei. No. I'm gonna guess Misaka. I'm gonna get, guess Misaka because I don't really know anyone that's really important that's a girl character other than Index right now in Kanzaki. I feel like Misaka should probably play a role at some point. Vampires. Vampires. I don't know. Deep, I don't even know what the fuck Deep Blood is! Deep Blood somehow proves that vampires may or may not exist! And if Imagine Breaker exists, same with Deep Blood, then what kind of other creature... What is exactly does Imagine Breaker prove? It, it's the... Imagine Breaker is the antithesis, the exact counter to sorcery. Does it prove that a god does exist? I, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, that ending dialogue is so important. That ending dialogue is very important because this now pretty much confirms that Stata is not simply part of the Church of Necessarius. He's not just on the side of the sorcerers. My man is having a meeting with this Director General Alistair and Director General Alistair talks about things like pro-science, machine, pro-machines. You wouldn't need a human that a machine can do, right? People are scared because I'm going to assume that this is some sort of machine form. You see a lot of machinery in here. Stata is dipping both in sorcery and magic in order to do what? To preserve the balance between magic people and, and espers? Maybe. I think the implication that if an esper killed a sorcerer here, then uh, rumors would spread, then it would look bad, right? An all-out war might happen between them. And then there is the existence of deep blood. What the fuck is it? I don't know. But if it does exist, vampires exist. And then a girl is nest. They have a girl that can apparently kill the vampires. At that point, I want to believe that it has to do with... Silver coin. Silver coin. I don't know. I'm trying to like... Theorize. I'm trying to like walk backwards and Misaka is the girl. And how did that girl kill the vampires beyond the railgun? The coins are silver. Silver, silver bullets. Va no. No, 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 no. Silver bullets are for werewolves. That's not fucking vampires. No, 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 no. You need like a steak. Is that... Ugh, fuck. You need like garlic. Yeah, I'm, I'm not cooking. I'm, I'm not fucking cooking. I'm fucking confused. This episode is confusing. Because we got lied so many fucking times. <laughs> Toma lost his brain cells. He didn't lose his brain cells. He did lose his brain cells. Imagine Break is the name of the right hand power. Index is sad, but not really because, you know, we lied to Index and, you know, Index thinks that we're all good now. So at least that's good. At least Index isn't, you know, sad. But Toma straight up has lost his memories, but apparently in the heart, the Kokoro bro, it, re it resides there. The stuff was stated at the end is very fascinating. And I guess this is going to go into the 
actual arc, right? So this is like the prologue, six episode prologue to wrap it up. And now we're getting into the meat of it. Who knows what the implications of Orihime 1 being destroyed by us is. Who knows exactly what the purpose of killing vampires and, you know, maintaining the balance and state of being in here is. Who is the girl? I still kind of want to say Misaka because I have no other uh, character knowledge other than Misaka is important, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.